good morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Sushan Takal. The top stories first. PM Modi reasserts his claim over Lord Ram's birthplace, suggests changing the name of Mani into Ayodhya Puri. Number of coronavirus cases exceed 22,000. Death toll climbs to 73 in the country. COVID-19 cases increasing in the capital, people found ignoring safety measures. Death toll from Indian plane crashes, crash rises to 18, both pilot and co-pilot killed. And quarter-final draw of the Champions League Cup competition complete, Bayern Munich to go against Barcelona. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has reasserted his claim that Lord Ram was born in Nepal. Prime Minister Oli met with the elected representatives of Mari municipality of Chitwan yesterday at his official residence in Balwatar and assured them that Lord Ram was born in Ayodhya Puri of Mari instead of India's Ayodhya. He also instructed the people's representatives to start a master plan to develop the disputed birthplace of Lord Ram as Ayodhya Dham. He told the delegation to build a temple of Ra Lord Ram and goddess Sita and may make it ready for inauguration during the Dasai festival. Instead of excavating the area, PM Oli stressed on the traditional belief and folklore for setting up the temple, informed Mayor of Mari, Thakur Prasad Takal. According to the Mayor, PM Oli suggested them to change the name of Mari municipality into Ayodhya Puri. The number of coronavirus cases in Nepal has climbed to 22,500. Likewise, the death toll has reached 73 in the country with a confirmation of three new deaths according to the Ministry of Health and Population. The latest victims were from Kathmandu, Parsa and Morang. Spokesperson at the ministry, Dr. Jageshwar Gautam, informed that a 41-year-old woman from Toha in Kathmandu died of coronavirus recently. Other victims include a 74-year-old man from Birganj and a 58-year-old from Biratnagar. So far, 16,313 persons have recovered from the disease and returned home. The number of active cases is over 6,000. Currently, 10,792 persons are being kept in quarantine facilities across the country. The number of infection from coronavirus has been increasing in Kathmandu Valley in the recent days. However, people have not maintained physical distancing in resulting in overcrowding at marketplaces. It seems that the people have become fearless after enduring almost four months of lockdown since March 24th. People have started disregarding the social distancing measures after the lockdown was lifted some two weeks ago. They have also stopped using masks and other precautions in crowded areas. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, the number of coronavirus cases is exceeding in most of the places in Kathmandu. But the shops are being opened in those areas without any kind of precautionary measures. Health experts warn of high risk of rise in infection due to the unsafe measures adopted by public vehicles. Here, <laughs> Bujna 
The total number of infection in Kathmandu alone has reached around 1,000. Due to the increase in risk of disease transmission, all three districts in Kathmandu Valley have decided to allow only essential services for 15 days, effective from today. This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. After the government decided to revert back to the decision of allowing odd-numbered and even-numbered vehicles on respective days, the traffic congestion in the valley has decreased greatly. The odd-even system increased in risk of infection and operation of only limited emergency services from all sectors has greatly decreased the traffic congestions in the streets of Kathmandu. The government decided to revert back to its odd-even number rule after the cases of coronavirus started to increase. On Friday, all three district administration offices DAOs, suspended all services except some emergency ones. The DAOs have also made it mandatory for anyone coming into the office for emergency services to strictly adhere to physical distancing rule while applying all safety procedures. Three persons were killed in a car accident at a Rohini rural municipality of Rupandehi along the postal highway. The ill-fated vehicle was heading towards Pairawa from Parasi when it lost control and crashed. One person was injured in the accident. Traffic police of Province 5 confirmed the deaths of three persons in the accident involving the vehicle with registration number Lu Tu Cha 6756. All three of them died while undergoing treatment at Bhim Hospital in Bhairawa. One of the injured is undergoing treatment according to the hospital. And now the news from the economic front. The industries in the Rupandehi corridor that have suffered through the lockdown period are now troubled again with fluctuating electricity and low voltage problems. The cement industries have been operating to meet the demand of the market, but because of the constant problems surrounding the electricity import and distribution, they are unable to run their production lines consistently. The clinker, which is required for cement production, was also in short supply due to the lockdown and importing it from India to maintain production has increased the cost of production for these industries. The industry operators say the electricity cuts are four to eight times on an average 24-hour period. However, the officials for the Nepal Electricity Authority say the tripping issue has been created because of the imbalance between production and transmission. Nepal Ambuja Cement, Jagadamba Cement, Argakhachi Cement, Reliance, Supreme, Pathak, Agni, Bajra, Bishal and Siddhartha Industries are among those suffering due to the tripping problem in the transmission line. Time for a short break here at Janata Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. Welcome back and now the international news. The death toll from an Indian passenger aircraft accident has risen to 18, while 16 people have been seriously injured, Reuters reported, citing a senior government official. The Air India Express plane, which was repatriating Indians stranded in Dubai due to the coronavirus pandemic, overshot the runway of the Calicut International Airport in heavy rain on Friday. According to the news agency, it was India's worst passenger aircraft accident since 2010. The flight was carrying 190 passengers and crew. The plane's pilot and the co-pilot were killed in the accident, chief of the Mallapuram district in Kerala told Reuters. All survivors were admitted to various hospitals and were also tested for COVID-19, district chief K. Gopalakrishnan said. 
Some 149 patients remain in hospital after some were discharged on Saturday, Gopala Krishnan added. The Boeing 737 plane skidded off the tabletop runway on Calicut, crashing nose first into the ground. Such runways are located at an altitude and have steep drops at one or both ends. Lebanese protesters stormed government ministries in Beirut on Saturday amid angry demonstrations over this week's devastating explosion. The protesters said their politicians should resign and be punished for negligence they say led to Tuesday's blast. According to Reuters, it was the biggest ever to hit Beirut that killed 158 people and injured more than 6,000. The tragedy struck while the country was facing months of political and economic meltdown. A policeman was killed during the clashes, a spokesperson said. The officer died when he fell into an elevator shaft in a nearby building after being chased by the protesters. You're watching Janata Bulletin and now the latest from the world of sports. Bayern Munich and Barcelona have been drawn against each other in the Champions League quarterfinals showdown. German club Bayern Munich defeated Chelsea FC yesterday by a scoreline of 4-1. Polish forward Robert Lewandowski scored two goals with one each from Toliso and Perisic. For Chelsea, Tammy Abraham got a goal back. The four lines 4-1 scoreline means Bayern have defeated Chelsea by an aggregate score of 7-1, carrying the first leg 3-0 win over the English club. Bayern will now play against Barcelona in Lisbon when the two meet on Friday. Barcelona had to overcome a strong performance from Italian side Napoli, who they defeated by 3-1 on the night. Clement Langley's header was followed by goals from Messi and Suarez for Barcelona, Lorenzo Insigne scored for Napoli. They won the tie with an aggregate score of 4-2. The quarter-final lineup for the Champions League has set up some mouth-watering classes with the biggest one as Barcelona versus Bayern Munich next Friday. In other ties, RB Leipzig will play against Atletico Madrid, Manchester City are up against Lyon and PSG will play against Atalanta. We are at the end of Jonathan Bulletin and the headlines once again. PM Olik reasserts his claim over Lord Ram's birthplace, suggests changing the name of Mari into Ayodhya Puri. Number of coronavirus cases exceed 22,000, death toll climbs to 73 in the country. COVID-19 cases increasing in the capital, people found ignoring safety measures. Death toll from Indian plane crash rises to 18, both pilot and co-pilot killed. And quarter-final draw of the Champions League Cup competition complete by Munich to go against Barcelona. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamachar.com. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.